Digital Lecture, and which is all about learning excellence. And I hope you're aware about today's topic. Anyone? All right, Mahi. Yes? I am good, everyone. Thank you for your messages. I'm doing fine. I'm wonderful. Hello, Omotola, right? Okay. Hello, good to see you all. Hi, Tasbiha. All right. I am good, Omotola. I hope everything is good from your end as well. All right, great. Okay, so anyone who, who knows about today's topic? Yes, write in the chat box. Yeah, that's English. Punctuation, absolutely. That's punctuation. Wonderful. All right, so let's begin. And before I start, I would like to share about our organization. Okay, so Delecta is all about a tutoring platform that provides tutoring services for year one, t from year one till year 13. Okay, and we cover up KS3 to A level and we cater to all the subjects and like maths, biology, verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning, English, right? Chemistry, physics for the higher grades. All right, dear? And uh, in case you need any information, any other information, you have a further questions regarding the, the organization, regarding the courses that we are, uh, you know, uh, that we have started with, and uh, or we have just ended one course, and that is our half term course, and it went really well. And I was really happy to be a part of that group for a week almost, right? And uh, the children actually learned so much. And I was able to cover almost all the topics in this one, in this last one week. And it was really good. And uh, I mean, I'm really fo looking forward to such more courses so that I can, you know, uh, cater to others' needs as much as I can. Right? All right. So 11 plus is a uh, one-stop solution. If you are preparing for 11 plus exam, this is the right place. Why? Because why not? We are servicing notes, we are giving notes, we are uh, providing practice papers, assignments, mock tests, we are giving, we are clearing out the doubts, we are having revision sessions, and these days we have already started with mock tests. The ones who are already with us, they know that we are already doing mock tests, and uh, counseling session is there in case you need any kind of counseling regarding the schools or uh, you know regarding the topics that we cover up or the upcoming sessions live sessions or uh, upcoming courses that we are going to start with so you can just we are just a call away from you and uh, hello omar okay so as of now we are doing punctuation and your uh, next event is going to be on 10th june and it is going to be on letter connections that is the topic of verbal reasoning i am sure the teacher is going to cover up some more Im important facts and some amazing questions she's going to discuss okay so be ready for 10th june as well that is saturday all right what will we cover today we will be doing content for 11 class, easy tips and tricks to complete questions quickly, learn new techniques, solve questions live, get the free mock test paper as a homework. Isn't it amazing? All right. Oh, Abdul, am I audible? Mahi, am I audible? Omatullah, am I audible? Okay. Omar, you please uh, rejoin the Abdul, you can get the mock test, uh, you know, uh, by asking the management, right? Okay. All right. So our today's topic is punctuation. And what is punctuation? This is something that we are doing since we were in year one, isn't it? 
right? We started it when we were in year one and in year one we discussed what is a full stop? What is a question mark, right? This is what we discussed when we were in year one, right? Then we gradually moved on to comma, right? We moved on to exclamation mark. right gradually we moved on to inverted commas or you call it quotation marks right this one right so gradually we kept learning one or the other punctuation mark right and um, Today, I am going to dis and yes, capital letter as well. Capital letter is something that we that is also a part of punctuation, and we know that capital letter is extremely important. So, let's quickly discuss full stop is used when we have to end a, end a statement or a normal sentence, right? A general sentence. Question mark is used in interrogative sentences when we have question sentences, right? It's important we put a question mark. Then we have commas. Commas, you know, when we have to list something, then we use commas, right? In order to complete our listing. And it is also about, just give me a minute, let me change my pen color, right? So this is comma, this is full stop, this is question mark, exclamation mark. Exclamation mark is used when we have to, you know, uh, when we are talking about some strong emotions or feelings like wow this looks amazing right what a beautiful sight right so when we are expressing strong emotions surprise or shock right inverted commas you know we do use it in reported speech yes fine and let me uh, do uh, share with you something Tom said, I am feeling hungry. Right? So here you can see that we have used comma. We have used, put, you know, inverted commas and we have used full stop also. So these are other uses of comma and full stop. Comma is not only used in listing. It is also used after the reporting verb, okay, like here, before we start the quotation. And when we have to end the quotation, then before that, we put the punctuation mark. If you have to put full stop, exclamation mark, question mark, whatever it is, we put it like this. All right, why am I sharing it? Because I've seen children, they first use the inverted commas and then they put the full stop, which is wrong. Okay, all right. And sometimes they also say like this, I am feeling hungry. Then we are not going to put a full stop. We'll put a comma, closing inverted commas, and then said Tom. Now we will put full stop. You can see the difference. In the above sentence, we are ending the sentence. That's why we have put full stop. In the second sentence, you can see that, uh, you know, we are not ending the sentence. So after hungry, though the sentence is complete, but I'm not going to put a full stop because the whole sentence is not complete, right? So after hungry, comma, closing inverted commas and said, Tom. Is it clear to everyone? Right. Is it clear, everyone? Am I clear with it? All right. All right. Okay. Now. Uh, do we not put a full stop in two? Uh, see, in the second one, we'll put a full stop at the end. Not after hungry. Okay? Alright, let's start with colon. What is a colon? It is used to separate two independent clauses. Independent clauses means main clauses. Right? Means complete sentences. When the second clause explains or illustrates the first clause. So, two complete sentences. Jamal was late for school. It's a complete sentence. His alarm had not gone off. 
so these are this is sentence one sentence two complete sentences when two complete sentences two independent clauses come together that's when we put colon all right and also when the second clause the second sentence explains the first one all right dear fine am i clear with it all right next we have semicolon semicolon is used to separate two closely related independent clauses instead of using a conjunction all right it is often used in more formal writing jena is pleasure is a pleasure to teach she always tries hard in every lesson so here we can see that we have two closely related main clauses means complete sentences and in place of using a conjunction in between i have used semicolon all right jena is a pleasure to teach she always tries hard because she always tries hard i could have used because here the conjunction but i have not used it in place of because i have used semicolon all right next what all right dash we can do later uh, colons here yes yes absolutely we use it with list with long items also we can see it here now all right abdul now colons and let's begin with study on colons there are three primary purposes for this member of the punctuation family it is listing when we have to list when we have to quote when we have to use independent clauses tasbeeha what are you doing are you dancing okay yes absolutely for bullet points also correct is my voice fine mahi all right all right noor ah, okay all right i don't know why i am speaking so loudly and why i don't know noor why are you not able to hear me okay now we have list see there are two choices at this time run away or fight fine so there are two choices we are listing here and we are putting colon we knew who win the map game that is eagle this house has everything i need colon and then the list two bedrooms a backyard and a garage all right next is it is also used uh, colons can also be used to introduce a quotation of someone else word for example you know any famous person has shared some saying or some famous quotation so before we use share that particular person's quotation we use colon like shakespeare this was said by shakespeare colon and then we will write the quotation the main character in the movie said colon and then we have the sentence all right mrs morris teaches this concept colon and then we have second place is the first is first loser okay so in this way clary helped jammy see his fate and she made the statement before that we have used colon all right then we have semicolon semicolon is first we put a dot and then a comma right first of all we stop and then comma this is used for uh, two indi for independent clauses like colon semicolon should not be used to connect more than two clauses and you do not capitalize the first word of the second clause okay like here we whenever we have to uh, you know start after colon we are using capital letter right but in semicolon it says that after putting semicolon we will not use capital letter all right fine and it should not be you and you know like colon uh, semicolon should not be used to connect more than two clauses right and do not capitalize the first letter of the second clause this means that they are to be used when you are dealing with two complete thoughts that could stand alone as a as a sentence right semicolons represent two cl closely linked independent clauses 
if one or both the clauses isn't complete consider using a colon instead okay all right dear now we are going to start with our summer intensive course and uh, it's going to be in july and august and it's going to be as amazing as we had half term course all right and the price you can see here per session and uh, it's going to be a two hours of online tuition daily recordings will be available free mock tests with solutions will be provided and limited period offer is available so for students preparing for 11 plus exam the right place is here if you want to revise everything all together you know that you are you all will have your exams in september so it's a great great program great course that you can join in the month of july and august for two months where you will get the complete revision of 11 plus exam okay yes soma you can join all right let's talk about this um please answer this question which punctuation mark should be used in the place indicated by the arrow greta is very sporty she plays football and hockey for the country for the county please write in the chat box comma cannot come all right semicolon correct next we have which sentence uses a colon correctly fourth one uh um okay the third noor is saying third one okay noor correct this is third one last summer we visited three different cities and then we have the name of it. it's a listing right what is a hyphen now hyphen is all about you know joining two words together hyphen can be used in three different ways number 1 a hyphen can be used to create a compound noun for example i saw a young passer by staring through the window a hyphen can be used in a compound adjective the tired looking teacher tired looking is adjective and we have used punctuate uh, you know punctuation mark that is hyphen okay so hyphen is used to create compound noun like passer by hyphen is used to create compound compound means more than one compound means more than one okay we sometimes use uh, need to use hyphen with a word that has a prefix to avoid doubling up a vowel and uh, change and changing the pronunciation we will re-enter the earth's uh, atmosphere soon so we use it when we have to put prefix also recover rejoin right like this that is something else omar what you are sharing is something else but the actual new purpose of hyphen is this right of course when we end a sentence and we do not have much space then we put hyphen and then we move on to the next one next sentence right this is what you are saying i agree with you so admissions are open for all the 11 plus students for the next session in case you know anyone in your friends in your family spread the word so that you can start preparing for 11 plus from now onwards and avail this amazing discount of 20% off for first 20 students okay it's going to be a great discount and uh, they can be further uh, you know privileges also if you join right now if you spread the word in your friends and family for the same right now they can avail the existing discount and maybe some other privilege as well okay and uh, of course we we'll just put our extreme hard work to make the child clear 11 plus exam 
all right let's do this insert two hyphens in the correct places I didn't enjoy the film because there was a man eating shark chasing a red faced boy through the deep blue sea. Please let me know where do I put hyphen after which word. Abdul correct, Omar correct, one more. Abdul correct. The other Abdul also. Bukola correct. Omar no. Opal no. Yes, no, 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 Opal no. Uh, Omar right now. Omar Chola after film no. After shark no. Omar Chola no. Noor correct. Nida correct. All right. So it has to be man eating shark and red faced. Fine. Next we have. Can you answer this question for me? Tick one box in each row to show whether the hyphen is correctly used or not. Let's make it A, B and C. There are 26 people in our class. Is it correct? Do you think the hyphen is used correctly? Yes or no? Alright, correct. My little brother is very strong willed. B1 is correct or wrong? No. This is not supposed to come in between little brother. It has to come in between strong willed. All right. And it will make a compound adjective. Right. No. No. The first one is correct. It is. The vet needed to re-examine my dog when they hurt her paw. Yes. We have to. You can use it when we are using prefix. Right. Um, can you do this question for me? Rewrite the sentence below using inverted commas and correct punctuation. Give me the map, said Kabir, so I can plan our route. Yes. Anyone? You have to use make it a reported speech. How will you add the punctuation marks here? Give me the marks. Abdul correct. Give me the map. Said Kabi. Give me the map. This is has to be this. Send me the map. Said Kabi. So. So I can this I can plan our route all right so it has to be give me the map comma the sentence is not complete said Kabir comma the sentence is not complete so I can plan our route full stop and then we will close all right is it clear to everyone S circle the incorrect apostrophe in each of the sentence a b let's do a and b he had clean drawn muddy boots but he didn't have time to fix Lala's uh, jacket 
where do you think they have used incorrect apostrophe in which word correct nida absolutely no but it's not lilas that's ron's it has to be this all right why because ron's here it's a name of a person and with name of a person we never put uh, apostrophe after s we always put before it all right and if we have the word dog dogs and dogs this is singular and this is plural all right if we are putting s if you are putting inverted comma you know apostrophe before s then that is singular noun and if you are putting apost uh, apostrophe after s that is plural those loves are hers she will be so happy to know we have found them yes hers we don't need it here we don't need to put it all right now we have if we add the hyphen reform what is the meaning of the word reform and what is the meaning of the word reform can anyone tell me in the chat box what is the difference from something again yes omar correct see the first re, uh, the first reform is when we have to improve something right the second is when we have to form again all right re is a prefix and pre this re means again okay let me share the three words with you and i'm really I, every time i feel so honored so proud of our organization that we have actually you know so many of three words in for the previous session and they got the ranks amazing ranks in grammar school and you can see the names here i know abdul that's you uh you know abdul ashman blossom muhammad ismail abiha ahana joel arun rv Helen, Paul, Josh, all right, all of them are there, and we are really happy to, uh, you know, to share their names all the time publicly. And I wish to speak out your name also, and uh, you know, soon, very soon, and you know, so that you know, every time publicly when we are having this uh, live event, we can share your name, your achievement with so many of you. Okay. All right. So I wish to do the same for everyone. Which of the following sentences is correctly punctuated? A, B, C, or D? Please check. Right, and that's B. Which of the following statements or sentences is correctly punctuated? The dog's bark is worse than its bite. Please check. right mahi no right for sixth one it is b okay all right the dog's bark is worse than its bite which of the following sentences is correctly punctuated seven points of all right mahi The speaker said high and low rich and poor wise and foolish all must die. Right Abdul. No no no. It's written in capital and we don't need to use them in capital. This is wrong. Right Abdul, right share rose. 
right mahi omar no opal correct omar no noor no noor it's after comma they have used a capital which is wrong here we know that after semicolon okay uh, we know that after colon we always use capital letter but it's not mentioned here it's wrong the correct one is a which of the following sentences is correctly punctuated the speaker said please follow the instructions correct opal correct sheroz abdullah nida abdul omar no opal correct abdul correct omar correct noor correct opal correct others quickly answer tasbeeh no mahi correct omar no correct omar it is b please follow the instructions okay we will be having one on one live sessions a one on one uh, you know tutoring platform we are also providing group online tutoring it's from year 1 till year 13 and anyone you know who would like to join us for exam preparation or uh, for uh, you know general practice or for understanding of topics they can join us and you know and get the maximum benefit and in case they are not sure whether they have to join us or not they can definitely go for a free demo session they can attend the class and they can see whether they like it or they do not like it okay and then it's their choice so in case you know anyone in your friends and family who would like to need such kind of tutoring services you can refer them you can refer us to them and uh, you know we will uh, we will be having we will be have some we will have some contact with them and uh, or they can approach us right and uh, book a free demo session for any year right i am sure they are going to love it and they will definitely be you know get, getting benefit from our services okay so please spread the word in your whatsapp group in your facebook group in your instagram group in your all the groups on whatsapp whatsapp your friends group your family group everywhere okay so that maximum students can be a part of grammar school and other and you know do well in other years which of the following question sentences is correctly punctuated yes um no of course not c um yes it's d i have to go to the grocery store i need to buy some food so they are closely interrelated right so we have used sem uh, semicolon and uh, that's it which of the following sentences is not correctly punctuated b is correct this is absolutely correct sheroz we are listing here and we have used colon abdul correct omar no b is absolutely correct a is also correct it's interrelated i went to tennis court it was closed for the evening it's interrelated you will be happy comma won't you you will be happy comma won't you okay so here i'm sharing with you again we'll be having summer intensive course in the month of july and august and uh, you can join this and uh, be a part of our uh, summer intensive course and do the ultimate amazing revision to the point revision completely exam oriented and uh, you can you know book your session now and get the discount also you can see it here right fine do not delay it and you will also be getting free mock tests that you can do as homework 
and we will definitely be studying it uh, you know in class as well your next session is on 10th june do not forget to join it and it's going to be on letter connections all right punctuation is a very broad topic i have just done a little part of it it has you know so many things in it and uh, but yes i have just shared some relevant uh, questions with you and uh, some relevant points with you that's it because in this time we can do this much only and i did my best to share as much as i can right rest if you want to know in detail you want to do a lot of practice for mcqs for general questions you can join us and do not delay in that okay please do not forget us to join on social media platforms and tell your friends also to join us all right and we are there on instagram follow our page we are there on youtube subscribe to our channel and uh, we are on facebook be a part of our facebook page and we are there on telechart do not forget to join us to get amazing exam oriented questions every day and some relevant information as well based on 11 plus okay all right bye bye take good thank you omar bye bye take care have a nice day see you soon bye 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 mahi bye omar bye take care everyone